Hey everyone, Angry Ice Cube here, and for once I'm actually feeling kind of okay. I, I admit I've been kind of doing the, the lazy route with video uploads lately. It's been loading shit from the PS4 that I've already had recorded. But to be honest, my health has been on a roller coaster for the last, what, two or three weeks? And I'm not entirely sure that the ride is over yet, because the last time I thought it was over, I had a rude awakening the next morning. But anyhow, take advantage of the the good times while we can. So today we're going to Match Duel because I'm going to talk about the three courts. Actually, I don't have to go to Match Duel to talk about them because there's some dudes over here that will give you quests for the various courts. Just don't ask me which one was which. I can't remember. Anyways, notice that they're repeatable. Well, you can keep doing these quests up to a certain point. I can't remember exactly how high that faction point is based on your faction. Anyways, let's go to Match Duel. Because Match Duel is cool. Where's that? There it is. Nashville, right here. And we're going to Mash Duel. Behold! The loading screen for Mash Duel. And here's the exit. They don't want us to leave. There, there are no handrails over there, so you can't go outside here. Anyhow, let's go inside. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks like the blades are in control of the city. Hooray! Go blades! Okay, there are three courts vying for control of the city. You have the court of the blades, the court of the coin, and the court of truth. Um, I have not done the timelines for truth and coin. At least, no, I haven't done those. So I can't talk too in depth about them, but I can tell you what's going on with the court of blades. Uh, as you do the time, you have to pick one of the courts, and you have to work your way up through them. Um, see, look, I'm Blades. I can tell you that much right now. Let's see, faction. No, 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 no. Where is it? There's a row. All right. See, there's the court of the. No, that's the. That's the gym master. Never mind. Court of the truth, and the court of the coin. See, they hate me, and that's natural. That's totally normal. I have not gone out of my way to piss them off, although I kind of have because of this court of the blades. See, whenever you work with one of the courts, the other two courts dislike you. And the more you work for one court, the more the other two are going to hate you. And eventually, you know, they, they are going to, in fact, hate you. However, um, what you can do is you can kill the guards in the city. They will drop coins of whichever court they're from. And then you can go... Is it over here? No. I think it is over here. No, maybe it's not over here. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done this. Anyhow, one of these buildings over here, there's a person that you can turn the coins into. Uh, you turn them into whichever court you, want, court you want to gain faction with, and you will gain faction without losing faction with the other two, although you are going to lose faction with one of them because you have to kill their guards to get the coin. Uh, obviously, you can't turn in Court of the Blades coins to the, um, the Blade Emissary dude. That, that probably wouldn't make them very happy. But if you want to know what guards would be up, look at the towers. Oh wait, that's not the blades, that's that's core of the coin. Yellow banner, coin. Red banner, truth, blue banner, blades. Um, and when you get high enough oh there's there's a play there. There's a play there. Okay, so hmm, there's a truth tower, there's a coin tower, there's a blade tower, there's a blade tower, there's another coin tower. Anyhow, when you get to a certain point with the uh, factions, you'll be able to get inside their headquarters. And when you go inside their headquarters, you can pick up a quest to change the to change the guard. Blade headquarters is right here. Yay! Blades! And there's this epic general dude, but he is not actually aggressive if you're friendly with the other courts. So you don't have to worry about him just running over and kicking your ass as soon as you come down the staircase. But the guards will be. If, for example, you have um, boosted your faction with coin and you come through here and you get too close to these guys, they will attack. Okay, yeah, let's go inside that. Let's, let's go inside one of the towers. In order to change the guard in one of the towers, uh, it's, it's coin tower. Actually, let me let me get the quest to go up there and change the guard. I can do that fairly easily. I just have to come in here. Court of the Blades. No. See, I'm I'm at a higher point in the timeline, so there's a special instance that I have to go inside, but I don't want to do that yet. Anyhow, Court of the Blades is my favorite because they're the ones that are like devoted to protecting the city. And the timeline, um, as you go through it, it kind of shows that they are, in fact, devoted to protecting the city. But the other ones are, are corrupt in various ways. 
at least that's what I've been able to glean from them, although again I have not actually advanced the timeline very far into the other two. There is actually a fourth core, it's the Court of the Moon. That's the Assassin Core, but you can't get in good with them. Okay, take a Blades Insignia Dagger from the chest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, once you do that... Ah, damn it. Once you do that, you can go inside one of the, the Court Towers, fight your way to the top, kill the Guard Captain, and then stab his body with that, that dagger, and the, the tower will change over to whichever court you are fighting in behalf of. So see, this is coin. Oh yeah, when you're killing the guards, be careful. Watch out for the, the Shire that will come down and kick your ass. Although nowadays, they probably won't kick your ass. Yeah, let's just kick their asses real fast. See? Coin insignia token. And then we get one from this guy, and we get one from that guy, and we can turn those in to, for example, make truth like me more so that I can start working with truth. But we can ignore these guys right now because they're gray and they're not going to aggro me. Let's go to the top. As you can see, you gotta fight your way up. And they are heroic mobs, although that shouldn't really count for much anymore, but just point it out. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Get close. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, why would you want to do this other than faction? Well, for example, let's say you're really, really friendly with the Court of the Coin and the Blades are in control of the city. Well, then you could go through here. The more towers that are assigned to a court, the more of that court's guards will spawn on the streets. And yes, they are hostile. Oops, wrong button. Where is he? I'm not seeing him. Oh well, killing them all anyways. There should be a captain. There he is! I think that was him. No, that wasn't him. A little confused. Where's the where's the card captain's body? Or maybe I'm too high of a level. Maybe that's why I can't do it right now. Well, anyhow, there will be a guard captain up here on the top floor. And after you kill them, you would be able to. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Where is the dagger? Oh no, I don't see it. What the hell is that? Why do I still have those? Okay, where was that? Okay, I did kill a guard, a coin tower captain. I think that was the one I was supposed to kill right there, but I don't have the option to do so. What is going on here? I didn't click the dagger though, so maybe that's why I don't have the option. I think I might have to actually click the dagger to get the quest. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, you have become too powerful to take a tower changing dagger. Okay, yeah, so I am too high of a level. Alright, Mystery Solid. Anyways, you have to be a lower level, I'm going to guess and say like probably below level 70. But when you pick the dagger up, you'll get a quest to kill that guard captain up there. When you kill the guard captain, his body will be clickable, but not like normal loot clickable, but like interact clickable. You can stab the dagger into his body, and then the tower would switch over and it would have become a blade tower. And then the blades would have been more likely to spawn on the streets. Now I go way back down to the bottom, and that would have been nice for the blades and not so nice for the coin. You will, of course, lose faction with the coin because you have to kill the coin's guards to do this, but you should gain faction with the um, blades, and you also get all these um, coin insignia. Where's the coin insignia? 
Where are the coins in this? Oh wait. Currency. Now I've got some blading signing coins and I've got coin signing. Do I have any shoes? And I got you. I got all three. Yay. Now you can also pick up quests with the Court of the Moon and they will give you an assassination quest. So you go into a zone, you clear the zone out, and you'll get a coin. Or maybe a handful of coins of whichever, of, of the court of your choosing. And then you can go turn them in and, yay, get some faction up with the other guys. That will work with that way. The reason you want to do this is because you have to be at a certain faction level in order to start doing the, the, real, the real quest line for that, that court. And you have to be another certain faction level before you can even get inside. I don't remember what the faction levels were exactly, but you'll have to improve them. There's people out on the docks when I first, when the video first started. You can do quests for them up to a certain point, and then you can't do quests for them anymore. Um, I, I want to say it's 10,000 positive faction, and that's when it cuts off. I'm not sure. But here, let me show you the core of the coin. They're down here. That's them right there. See, I can't go inside because I'm not built up enough with them. They have a little epic dude too, is this guy. Let me in. Come on in. I completely can't read what that says. Ah, here he is. Court of Tears agent. Yeah. So this is the guy that will give you the assassination quest. Okay, who are you? He's like, alright, this one is trying to make a living in the city. If you're smart, you'll stay nobody too. But you don't look like the type to avoid attention. Uh -huh, alright, most citizens here don't brazenly walk around with the kind of equipment you're carrying. For what it's worth, you're still going to want to find favor with one of the courts. And I can help you with that. That is, of course, if you're interested. What did you have in mind? Hedging our bets. Alright. It's level 60. So level 60 might be the cutoff for being able to do those, those tower parts. I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow, a local politician is attempting to win a series of matches in the coming days. It is in the Court of Tears' best interest if these matches are lost. To ensure the outcome, they would like me to bring someone very important to the politician back to them for their protection. See, and then you get one of the following. Seven coins of whichever court you choose. I'm not going to waste my time. Do matter what the hell not. Let's do it. Okay, you can just call me your deal broker. I need to kidnap the mark. I am not seeing a blue dot telling me where to go. Anyways, there will be a place that you have to go. There are little houses all around the city. And one of them is the one that you need to enter, and you will do the thing that you need to do, which is, like I said, you go into a little zone, there's going to be bad guys, kill the bad guys, capture the mark, or kill the mark, or whatever the quest tells you to do, and then come back, talk to the guy, and you'll get your coins. I would love to show you how to do it if I knew where the hell I was supposed to go. Merchant apartment? Where is this one supposed to take you? The current zone actually, well, sure that's helpful. Enter the home of the mark and kidnap them for the Court of Tears. Okay. Hmm. Court of Truth. Peacock Club. That's another timeline that you can do while you're here. That's actually part of the main timeline to the um, Desert of Flame expansion. Or Desert of Flames, I should call it. Merchant apartment. There's the court of the blaze. Where's the court of truth at? I can never remember where the court of truth is. Oh, that's right. They're over here in this little. Let me take it there first. If I remember correctly, they're over here in this little area. Inside here somewhere. Maybe. Mm. No.
Well, that's odd. I know there was something inside this area that I had to go to once. On that wall there. That's not the court of the truth. Where's the court of the truth? Ah. Is this the court of the truth over here? I hate it when they put the damn POIs right on top of each other. No, that's Champion's Court. Peacock Club. Another tower. Where is the Court of the Truth? Blaze Training Arena. Oh, Court of Truth. Oh, that's, that's right. It's over by the, the champion and power and glory and all that crap. It's over this way. Go down here. Mm -hmm. Court of the Truth. Got some more blade guards walking around, keeping the streets safe. Power, glory, and the champion, dude. And here's the Court of Truth. Anyhow, as I said, somewhere around here there is a house that I'm supposed to go inside of. I wish it would actually tell you where the house is. That would be a nice touch. But, hell, who am I kidding? You could have a, a giant neon sign outside with a state miser, and I probably wouldn't be able to see it even if standing right in front of it. But without being able to um, find. What the hell? Oh, to do. Okay. Well, this is fun. Alright. What's the name of the quest that I picked up? Specifically, what's the name of the quest? Hedging our bets. Let's type it here. Maybe it will show up. And it didn't. Well, damn it. At any rate, somewhere on this map, there is a house that I'm supposed to steal inside of, and then I have to capture the guy inside after clearing all the bad guys. Maybe it's over here somewhere? Merchant apartment? No. Mercenary residence? No. Those are regular houses. Yes, you can actually get a um, residency license and have a house in the city, but you have to reach a certain point with one of the courts. I want to say 20,000 faction positive, maybe 30, something like that. Anyways, you can buy a, a you can buy a license and you will be able to have a house here. You can also get a call to row, call of row. Again, once you reach a certain level of um, faction with one of the courts, you can pick up a quest to get a call that will take you to Mass Duel. Yay! Which I did, obviously, or I wouldn't have it. <clears throat> where, oh where, is the house? Let's go back down to the Court of Coin. Maybe there's a, a building around here? With a door on it? I was hoping it would have the little blue highlights that they recently added, but even if they did, it wouldn't be easy to see because of crap like this. It's like, huh, is, is that it? No. That's not it. So, as I was saying, you can't really see what's just a background color and what's an actual highlight color. So, you know, go over here. I was also hoping they just have a blue dot on the, um, the zone in location. That would be awesome. But. Yeah, that would be awesome, so they didn't do it. Hey, look, it's the Sultan's Palace. This is the big building that you run around the side of when you first come in. Okay, let's turn the map off, and let's go over here. Usually, the um, 
the uh, zone ins for these little zones are um, in regular houses, like, for example, over in this direction. Like these types of buildings. Oh, for all I know, it could be one of these buildings. Check the doors, anything clickable? A magical residence. Hmm. Enter. I don't think this is right. It didn't highlight when I moused over it, so this might just be a regular. No, wait. That should have a tower. Would that have a tour option? Have I ever actually even gone inside the the, the player house for magical? I don't know if I have. No, this might be the right one. Dervish guards everywhere. Are you the... Oh, okay, there's a citizen. There's an exhausted citizen. Sometimes these little wicker baskets have um, cobras in them. Sometimes they have coin in them. Yay. Hmm... Dervish citizen, resident. I don't see the guy. So maybe this is. Well, maybe this is the right one. I might be too high of a level, though. I don't know. The Blaze Guard. Word is Dukaram's been acting strange. Best not to upset That's like, kind of like a. That's a little flavor, flavor text for the timeline. Stuff's going on in the Court of the Blades. Okay, I killed all the guards. But I don't see a guy to kidnap. But again, I might be too high of a level for him to spawn. I honestly don't know or remember. Well, damn it. Anyways. That's what you basically have to go through, is go into a room or a house like that, kill the guards, grab the guy, leave, and then turn in the quest. But you know what? This is stupid because I can't find it. It doesn't help that my eyes have been acting up this last week. Not as bad as they were back in the day when I only could use one of them, but still, they're, they're really, 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 really pissy these days. Ooh. But anyways, yeah. You go into a house similar to these, and then you would kidnap the guy, and then you go talk to the guy that gave you the quest, and then you get your seven coins. Seven coins? Yeah, seven coins. And then you go to... Let me see if I can find the place to turn the coins in. Sultan's Palace. Ooh. I have not technically finished the city timeline for Magic Duel, so I don't know if you ever actually meet the Sultan, although I don't think you do. You do meet the Vizier, though. I'm on the wrong side. Damn it. He's in the Tower of the Moon. Which is that one right there. You can only go in there on certain... Okay, oh wait, you can go in. Tower of the Moon, here we go. Is this where you turn the coins? I think this is where you turn the coins, on the bottom floor. Let's check. Could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've done any of this. And by long, I mean like when Desert of Flames was newly released. That's a long time ago. What was that, 2005, 2006? Yeah, this is where you turn in the, the coins. There's the blades dude, there's the truth dude, and there's the coin dude. You turn the coins into the one you want to you want to gain favor with. Uh, let's see. How about, how about you? 
I have coin tokens to give to you. Give five. Uh, let's see. Truth just got better. Up, oh, blades got worse. So I guess you do lose. I guess you do lose a little bit of faction with blades if you turn it into a non-blade. Let's see where we stand. Where's Core of the Blades? Oh no, look. I'm still an ally with them, but oh no, look. That's okay though, because I still have to finish their, their timeline. I think I'm on the last quest of the Blades timeline. And once again, you know, I was doing it with some guildies and they just magically disappeared, and so my progress magically disappeared because I was waiting for them. I should probably one of these days just go ahead and finish it and just be done with it. Now, if you do all three of the timelines, it is possible to get up to allied faction with all three of them because at the end of the city timeline, you get a, um, what was it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's like the something of the hero or something like that. And it's worth like plus 80,000 faction for all three at the same time. So if you manipulate your faction levels enough, you can get it so that, well, obviously one of them is going to be positive, and that one's going to be maxed out instantly, but you can manipulate it so that the other two are still, like, high enough that they will be maxed out. It's tricky. It requires a lot of manipulation, but you can do it. But see, um, Court of the Blaze went down by, well, about 2,000. Almost, yeah, about, about 2,000. Court of Truth went up a little bit. Yay. And Court of Coin did not go anywhere because they don't care. Whoops. Of course, if you kill the guards to get coins, you're going to lose even more faction with whichever faction that you're killing. But when you kill an NPC, the faction only goes down by like, I think it's 100 points. So it's, you know, it's not, it's not huge. Although it can very quickly add up. And that's Magidul and the Three Courts. So like I said, you got the Court of Coin, which is all about making money. The Court of Truth, which is... What is the Court of Truth about? Let's look. Actions. It's led by the Caliph of, Tr of Truth. Truth. Their primary responsibility is to gather and maintain the knowledge of the Dervish people. They are also heavily involved in the lawmaking associated with the arena games. And let's talk about blades for a moment. Court of the blades. Come on, mouse. Ruled by the Caliph of the blades, Dukan. Protection of the city from the hostile creatures of the desert, chief of which are the orcs of Ujar. And then, of course, we have coin. Let's go back to coin. Okay, led by the Caliph of the coin. Blah blah blah. Control the flow of money in this flow of money into the city, including merchant transactions, banking, and wagering. The Golden Scepter is the center of the Durvan economy. And then, of course, there is the um, the Court of the Moon, which you can't get in good with, but they're the assassins, and they're not necessarily your best friend. Let me just say that. Again, I have not completely finished the timeline, but they are, they are definitely bad. If someone is working on the timeline, you might get a nasty surprise when you zone into the city because there, there will be epic mobs hostile epic mob running around attacking the citizens and whatnot and there will be chaos everywhere. What the hell? Hmm. But enough of this. This building you have to go into for your um, crafting epic timeline. Proof of the pudding. Yeah, is that what it's called? Proof of, yeah, proof of the pudding. You go inside here and you do some crafting stuff. Stop me if I'm getting too um, detailed for you. Property of Jaldar shipping, cool. And that's that for Magdul, so. And it's probably a good time to stop because I'm just kind of getting a little dizzy now. And it's always a bad sign if you get dizzy when you're sitting down. It's probably related to my eyes, though. As in the best of times, my eyes do not like um, extreme transitions from light to dark. 
and um, these are not the best of times. So sometimes just going from the loading screen to like this, with the the, the, the light reflecting off of the sand, that can be a little too much for my eyes. They'll, they'll start to be a little pissy. And by a little pissy, I mean like stabbing pain into my brain. But, hey, if you want to go to uh, Velius, here's the guy to talk to. Transport to Velius. Or you can use the bell and it will take you to the um, Thurgoden Harbor. It's a great divide. But, um, yeah. Anyhow, enough of that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ho hopefully, whatever's wrong with me will, will start to clear up and things will get a little bit back to schedule. In the meantime, um, you know, there's always my, my good old P4. Because I can just turn that on and just record something stupid and upload it. Because some of my friends, they do ask me to upload other games that I play because they want to see what the games look like before they buy them. And so I do so. Yay. Yeah, aren't I so generous? Now, take care, everyone, and I will catch you later. Peace out.